Hey guys, this is Dr. JT, MD General Medicine, a rheumatology resident and a part-time YouTuber and I welcome you to my channel, Dr. JTM. By the way, did you subscribe to my channel? Are first subscribe, then you can know how you can approach towards your PG theory exams. Yes, I know many of the PG residents have exams in the next 6 to 9 months and most of you people have already started your preparation one or the other way. Some started studying Harrison books, some started watching Marrow videos, some started choosing simplified books. No problem, no matter what, however you study, you need to pass and get through these theory exams. But I guess in this video, what the plan I'm going to give you regarding your PG theory exams will be helpful for those people who have been preparing for Harrison book particularly, but no matter what, you can use this plan according to your needs and also your ways of study methods. Okay, let's get into the plan. For theory exam, it's always simple plan only. You need to know how much you need to study, how much you need to leave, what you need to start first, what you need to complete first, and what you need to read at the last. See, medicine itself is a very vast subject. You can't study every topic from such a big textbook. And also you need to understand one more point is that you have to revise whatever you have studied for the first time from your textbook or from whatever videos that you are watching. Without doing this reading for the first time and revising for at least twice, you can't really give the exam properly. So how you need to approach this studying the Harrison. So here first you need to focus on the basic concepts of medicine. That is nothing but the first 10 chapters in the Harrison book. So there they will be talking about every basic concept concept like the symptomatology or the you know investigate basic investigation so what is the need and purpose of those that uh, those that we use in our daily op uh, based on in the words so that things you need to study first and also few topics from anatomy pharmacology pathology physiology as well because they will be the major to major topics that will be coming in the first paper uh, for your exam so you might be wondering uh, how we can study all the basic concepts of medicine in the first 10 chapters nothing to worry first thing you need to understand is that so the first 10 chapters in the Harrison book you need to look into approaches all the approaches will be given in the green boxes you need to complete all those approaches first because they will be asking approaches uh, primarily then what are the uh, topics that I have been talking about that is anatomy physiology pharmacology you might be studying them very long ago in your MBBS for second years then how do we know what topics to focus on so based on the recent uh, university trends of different different states I have made a list of topics Topics, that is basics of medicine into a PDF and you can get that PDF from the description below so this is the first thing that you need to complete within a span of one month maximum because uh, making the first paper right way will actually give you a confidence and also uh, studying these basics will actually uh, boost up your you know inner concepts as well you know before we move into the systemic so the first approach is always study the basic concepts of medicine from the first 10 chapters of Harrison and also the top topics list that I have given for basics of medicine in the description below go download them part two and second step this is how you study the next step into your PG theory exams that is studying the last five chapters in the Harrison that is nothing but genetics global medicine modern medicine obstetric medicine as well as recent advances once you start completing these five chapters and also the basic concepts of medicine that means you have almost completed what paper one and also paper four topics you might be wondering again what should we study from these last five chapters what topic should we study don't worry again i have made a topics and the topics list are given below in the pdf and the link is in the description go get it and now once you complete that you'll feel a lot of burden has been reduced because only systemic topics are left now that is the major chunk because most of the uh, second paper and also third paper and some part of the fourth paper will also come from these systemic topics now how do you approach for this systemic so what is the order of preference that you can start systemic studying the first chapter you need to start is the say, uh, cardiac system so next you need to go for uh, critical care medicine then respiratory medicine then cns then rheumatology endocrinology then hematology oncology then renal system GIT, and last infections you can leave out the reproductive system or you can make it uh, make it as an option till lastly because less questions are coming from that particular topic so either if you have time you can study otherwise you can leave it now what should be the approach when you are starting a system systemic chapter like cardiology or a critical care medicine or respiratory medicine the first thing you need to focus on the major diseases for example in cardiology the major diseases will be what MI 
heart failure, cardiomyopathies, and arrhythmias. These are the four major important things when you are starting a cardiology chapter. At the same time, when you are starting a respiratory medicine chapter, what are the major topics that you need to focus on? That is COPD, pneumonia, right? Then we have go, we have to go for respiratory failure. Then you have to go for asthma. Like this, these are four important ones, which mostly they will be repeatedly asking, and that's how you need to focus on these topics. Then the next thing you need to focus in the Harrison is that the treatment part. So anyhow, whatever you do, that when you write the treatment part in your theory exams well, the more marks you'll be getting. So firstly, firstly, whatever the pathophysiology that you will be studying, whatever the epidemiology that you want to start with, whatever the concepts that you want to build with, those are all you can write on your own because they will be present in your mind as you're studying right from the MEBS. But with the change in the time, with the change in the treatment protocols, that is where they will be focusing on. They'll be definitely asking the management. So firstly, you need to focus on the management protocol, write uh, notes of this management protocols for every topic that you study and this will actually help you in the revisions as well so this is the approach for systemic topics and i strictly advise you to follow this order like the order i have told you to start the systemic and also complete in the same way because of the time constraints you have and for infections very very importantly to all those people who are preparing for your pg theory exams for infections do not study from harrison study from apa textbook of medicine that is more than enough and the link to that book is given below and from infections also you don't need to study all topics there are certain few important topics that are being repeatedly asked and those are more than enough and i have made a list of topics of uh, uh, important for infections into a pdf and you can download that from the description not only just for the infections for all the systemic chapters cardiology critical care git renal for every systemic chapter i have made the set of important topics into a pdf and you can and download that from the description the links given below in the description go get them and last thing how much time you need to spend for each system i would say 15 days is the maximum time that you can spend on each system whether you complete or not complete more than 15 days do not take for any system because studying a harrison or studying medicine will actually be so saturated so saturated that your mind will be very vulnerable so after 15 days please shift to another system refresh your brain keep your mind open for other concepts to also be digested otherwise you'll be saturated you'll be vexed with the preparation your stress will be increasing and like i said you need to give time for revisions at least two revisions are needed for theory exams in order to give properly so time management for the next six months is very very important so 15 days for each system that's it maximum you move to next chapter or topic immediately so that's it for this video for all the topics that i have listed in the pdf are in references to all the universities across the country so don't need to worry you can straight away take that pdf uh, into a printout and start studying all those topics and also in my next videos i'll be telling you how you can manage your time in the exam as well as how you can write the answers in the exam in order to score more which are most useful videos so don't miss out so what you need to do is that go subscribe to my channel and also if you love this video don't forget to like share and also uh, subscribe to my channel dr jtm and i'll be back with one more great video until then bye take care